Kluger is going to be the blue Zerg at the top right. Two Sky at the bottom left as the teal Zerg. So how is Two Sky going to play this differently? Or will he play this differently? His build might actually, or at least the build he did last time, might work a little bit better. Um, on a map like this, you are pretty far apart. They're also in cross spots, but neither player knows that yet. However, bear in mind that essentially, um, Two Sky has been humiliated in that previous game. I mean, that is a pretty embarrassing way to lose, especially after you practice uh, whatever build order you were doing, trained with your team for uh, you know days, uh, sometimes even weeks for uh, matches like this to get slam dunked. I mean, he basically got suplexed. Uh, he looked like a total jobber back there. He has to come back and do something. Savior probably feels very confident. And Savior was licking his lips pretty uh, wildly <laughs> back there, hungry to uh, defeat his opponent. First Overlord's going to be out for Savior. Two Sky this time going for the nine pull build. Looks like Savior has probably assumed that his opponent might be a little bit more intimidated and play defensively and is instead going to go for an econ build. And it looks like Savior is going to do a similar build to what he did last time, however, he will get the pool and the extractor on 12. And essentially, this build is more economical and safer than the build we see Two Sky doing. So it looks like Savior's pretty much predicted that Two Sky is going to go for a very aggressive build this time. Probably uh, not willing to lose in the same way he did last time and hoping that uh, maybe Savior will get confident enough to go hatchery first. However, Savior is doing a pretty in the middle build. <laughs> Now the Zerlings are out, I do believe that Two Sky will probably pull his drones off of the Vespian gas. Or he may keep them on there. No, he's going to keep two on there instead of three. And possibly after he upgrades Zerling speed, get a layer, go one hatch layer. Put the second hatchery up a little bit later on. A few Zerlings are out. Savior's build much more economical, although okay, I don't. I honestly don't know what Two Sky's doing with the Zerglings. Um, I, I'm sorry, I have no idea what those Zerglings are doing there. Um, maybe he wants to wait for his opponent to attack him and then he can counterattack. Okay, now he's regrouping. However, I do believe he. Um, I just think he pretty much wasted um, an ample opportunity to possibly rush in there and maybe try to pick up, pick on some drones. Savior's now making a sunken colony. Looks like he's going to manage to get up here. Zergling speed is done. He's waited for the Zergling speed. Now moving up here. The sunken colony is out. Savior's going to have to micro pretty carefully. Here come the Zerglings now. And it looks like they managed to get in here. I do believe Savior will hold this off with drone control. Although we do see a sizable amount of Zerglings now attacking a few drones. Looks like he's going to get two drones. And maybe even three drones here. This could hurt Savior's economy quite a bit. Savior already has the layer up. One hatch layer. And a Spire already on the way. Savior's going to have to get a Spire out fast. Here's his Spire now. Savior pulling the drones off of the Vespian Gas Geyser to try to get a few more uh, minerals out here. He needs to collect a few more drones. Bear in mind, though, that Two Sky does not have very many drones. He essentially sacked drones early on in order to get an early offensive. Savior actually, or well, perhaps assuming that his opponent was a bit more intimidated than he actually was and would not attack. Now Savior has three drones in the Vespian Gas Guys. are both Spires uh, going to finish at about the same time. Looks as though Two Skies already spotted Savior's Overlord and will follow that with his own so he can hunt that down and pick it off. Since the Spire is at 300 HP, he will probably have to start saving Larva. Now, the issue here, though, is that 
two sky only has one hatchery, so he can't get more than three mutilists. He'll have to get that overlord. Actually, looks like he has spotted both overlords, so Savior's gonna have to defend these overlords so he can keep up in the mutilist count. It's gonna be a it's gonna evolve a lot on, on whether or not these overlords can survive. Savior needs to keep these overlords alive. The overlord finishes right as the spire finishes. Here it is now. And mutilisks are beginning to morph. Looks like only two, no four. Mutilus still already outnumbered two skies. However, two skies closer to the overlords. Two Sky playing this game a lot better than he played the first one. I have to hand it to him. Savior attempting. Looks like Savior got Zergling's speed. He wants to force his opponent to take one extra grip of Zergling. Looks like Savior's going to get in here now, knowing that the Zergling count would be a little bit lower. Savior going to back off with his Zerglings. He wants to force his opponent to not use the Mutalists to get the Overlords. Now, Savior has to make, excuse me, Two Sky has to make a critical decision now. Two scores, two mutilisks. I think a wise distribution. He can have one score hit each mutilisk. And I do believe Savior is going to win this. Here comes, here comes him with the uh, mutilisk now. going to take out the first overlord. Savior's on the move now, though. He's going to split all four of these scores hit each individual mutilisk. And overlord goes down. Looks like he's going to have to micro pretty carefully. Two Sky not quite doing as good of a job. Here come the Zerglings now picking on some drones. Looks like Two Sky actually out micro Savior. Using the patrol um, button to micro those mutas. And it looks as though Savior is actually going to be expanding towards a location that is very unlikely for his opponent to check since neither player really has map control with the overlords well actually two sky has a little bit of control he will not hit that overlord with, with a scourge in case you're confused as to why he's doing that they need to save the scourge for the mutilisks both players now attempting to expand savior may be double expoing maybe that, that, that drone is taking a nap i don't know Very nice snipe there with the Scourge, getting the uh, <laughs> Overlord before it hatched. Or actually, as it hatched. Talk about a crappy life for that uh, Mutalisk. And excuse me, I said it was an Overlord, it was a Mutalisk. I was just testing you. Here we have a few more Mutalisks out here. They are clumped together very carefully. Good Zerg players will always hotkey the Mutalisks with one Overlord. Because uh, if the Overlord is spaced on the other side of the map, he will manage to get... Uh, the Mutalists will manage to clump together a lot more, making them harder to target fire the weaker ones. Alright, so we've got the Mutalists now essentially patrolling around the map. Savior wants to pick off any stray overlords. Two Sky knows he has to win this if he wants to come out on top. Here's our battle now! And the scores are going to get in there first. Savior did not micro very well, nor did he split the scores very well. But I'm not sure who has more mutilists. It's difficult to say. Two more scores come into the battle. Two Sky is really proving that he does have incredible mutilists micro. I believe Savior is going to lose this battle. One muta remains. And two more scores on the way, but I think he cannot micro those scores if he controls his mutilists well enough. And the scores are moving in now. Oh! He did manage to get in. Savior, however, does, has double expanded. Which, to be honest, this guy is going to have to do something about pretty quickly. Getting two extractors, two extra extractors, I should say, will allow him to get ahead in the mutilist count. More scores on the way, but Savior's going to micro pretty carefully. And looks like he's going to wait for this egg to hatch. Two Sky sacks one Scorch in order to um, ensure that that Mutalist will not be killed at birth. Savior focusing most of his uh, economy on the Scorch because he is producing a few drones. He's going to use Scorch to try to defend. Looks 
like we're going to have some Zerglings possibly sneak in here. I thought Saber got Zergling speed. Does not look like he did. He's going to back off, though, because he's been spotted by that Overlord. And it's not like that. Zergling complete his mission. Scorch coming in here now. And one Zergling to try to harass uh, the drones. I don't know if it's going to work. Is he going to? Oh, nope. No, it, no, it did not. <laughs> One spore colony coming up here. Now watch, can save your micro as well as two sky has this game? No, it cannot. This is turning out to be a pretty late game, Zerg versus Zerg. This is about this is the moment where you consider it late game, is after the expansions are up. Uh, while that may seem more like early game to the average StarCraft player, Zerg vs. Zerg at good levels or top levels like this is, is very fast, very unforgiving. More Scourge on the move. And it's, it's difficult to say who's actually ahead. Normally you want to look at how dark the shadows are underneath the Mutalisks. Um, they do look as if they are um, equally dark, although it, it appears as though Xavier has the uh, higher sports count. Is he going to get this Overlord? It looks as though he will. Oh! As he attempted to come up from behind. Unfortunately for Tuscott, he does not have the uh, Mutalisk count. Oh my gosh. Xavier is going to dominate. He simply, oh, two sky is completely falling apart and good game. The Mutalists are taken out. And well played by Savior, double X Willie, getting the second extractor. Savior will move on to the top uh, 16 of the tournament. And his female fans are very happy. And uh, I believe it is uh, about 90% female fans down here today. Uh, Guy probably disappointed, but he did not play as poorly as he did in that previous game. There is Savior, the former number one Zerg player. The top spot for Zerg is currently occupied by J Dog. What exciting games! Coming up next, we've got Effort versus Never, a Zerg versus Terran. So please stay tuned for that.